What are the main supply chain challenges for consumer products and retail companies over the next 10 years? What, what kind of innovations can companies expect to improve their supply chains? Why is collaboration so important? And what kind of step change can be achieved? Those are the things that are described in the 2016 The Future Supply Chain Report. I think the biggest challenge for uh consumer goods manufacturers and retailers will be continuing to delight the shopper and the consumer. The restrictions we have just in front of us, the oil price uh, especially, and the restrictions and related to congestion and the upcoming CO2 com emission. Urban restrictions are now on in a lot of countries that uh, you, you just can't have heavy vehicles traveling at any time in, in the uh, in built-up areas and in, in cities. Regulatory issues, governmental influences and let's say price changes in important things like oil prices. The fact that we need to look for more sustainable ways to do uh, not just uh, transport but to, to do the whole supply chain all the way to the consumer. Um, given the, the current energy prices, uh, given uh, the need to, to still improve also customer uh, satisfaction as well as supply chain performance. We know that there is more um, understanding of, of the environment, so it, it's not just the pure financials, it's not just the pure financials, but it's also uh, the, the fact that the, the uh, consumer and the, the opinion of, of, of the, the world at large uh, is, is changing and, and they do want to see uh, better solutions and less waste. We can't continue to operate with a, a supply chain that was developed, that evolved over, over many, many decades based on a historical way of delivering, a, of a manufacturing and delivering products. The world's changed and we have to change our supply chain to adapt to it. We need to be sure that we deliver just in time and in due time and the right, with the right means. But when you see the rise of the transport cost, that means that the organization, the process, must be really different and at the end must provide better service than what we provide. So external factors mainly will drive uh, the need for a change. What our supply chain has today that it didn't have in the past is access to information. And at the end of the day, our supply chain runs on information. So if we want to bring innovation to, uh, to, if we want to bring innovation to play in the supply chain, we need to start by thinking about the information that's available and how we can incorporate that into better supply chain programs, more efficient supply chain, and just a better overall experience. Technologies like the electronic product code using RFID provide what we call actionable visibility. So it, it improves productivity by taking some of the human resources out of the supply network. And, and yet we have more accurate visibility to what's actually happening in the store. So visibility is a, is a real breakthrough area for me. And for us to really delight that consumer, which is the goal and focus of each of us, we're really going to have to come together to use that data and turn that data into information that can drive changes in work process and workflow at store level to really enable things like driving improvements on on-shelf availability and driving in-store execution. There's the real innovation in, in, in how do you work together um, and information is essential to do that. So I, I think that that side has been stressed in this report uh, particularly. We have a, a duty of care to do as little damage as we possibly can to the environment from our operations and by collaborating much more with retailers and other manufacturers we can make our supply chains much more efficient and therefore significantly reduce our carbon footprint. Historically we have a manufacturer supply chain for the manufacturer, a retailer supply chain for the retailer but that's really unworkable today, that's, that's just got inbuilt in efficiency. So by collaborating, by working together, not just manufacturers and retailers, but also our suppliers, our third party suppliers, our, our logistics, uh, our transportation people, by working together, we can create a far more efficient collaborative model. That's why collaboration is so important. Collaboration is really the delivery of all we want to achieve. 
no one enterprise controls the entire supply chain. So by definition, uh, you need a collaborative environment if you're going to make an improvement. There's only one solution to complexity. This is transparency and networking. We looked at, at, at the real big breaks that the industry could have and, and their collaboration is essential. Do we wait and react or do we become more innovative, more collaborative and drive the agenda? We have already waited much too long because all these uh, challenges are not new. There's no question if we need to do it, but uh, we need to do it and we need to do it fast. All the pressures that are on our industry today just really make this now the time that we have to change. We really have to move into the 21st century across our whole business, but most importantly in our supply chain. Mm -hmm.